Okay, so here we are to talk about Murder, She Wrote, the final movie and the final everything. Nothing continues after this, sadly. So, we put this show to an official end when it comes to videos. Maybe I'll make one in the future if I see the funny one episode on the, on the um, what's it called, television. Although Murder, She Wrote episodes, the reruns don't usually come out at the greatest time that I watch TV. I don't watch cable anyway, so I guess I'll never see it again, other than the DVDs. Alright, there's really no specific um, description I can give you, because I'm kind of horrible at giving descriptions. You've known that from my reviews. This is um, the Celtic Riddle. The last one where they follow all these clues to try to find a prize at the end. And at the beginning, they're talking to each other about a w someone's will that they made on video, well, what they left to people. And stuff like that. And you know people aren't happy when they don't get the house. So they don't get all the money. Or something like that. You know I have really enjoyed this show. And I gotta say. After the previous nosedive. We, I understand they were teaching about slavery and stuff. And that's very important. Very very important. With um the previous movie. But this movie really took a recovery. Now this is the first murder she wrote anything where I liked it when she was in another country. Every time she visited Ireland and stuff, just the accent or wherever she was this time, um, the accents were completely fake and sounded ridiculous. Everyone sounded very legit in this episode. The one thing I don't like now that it's over is that in the four movies they had for the murder she wrote on TV movies, they didn't have her Let's put it, how do I put it? They didn't have her be accompanied by any of the original people from the TV show. Are you telling me there's no way they couldn't, they couldn't have got a hold of some of these people and brought them onto the show? I believe at the time when they made these movies, the Sheriff of Cab Cabot Cove was, um, was, um, yeah, was, uh, <laughs> talking on my ass now, the, the Sheriff of Cabot Cove had to have been, um, did it again. <laughs> it's late. He had to be available as an actor. I mean, he couldn't have too big of a schedule if he was just on TV. I mean, I don't know. Maybe something happened to him. I hope not. I don't think he's alive right now, though. I think he recently died just before Angela Lansbury did. Either way, they could have found a way to get the guy on the show to do something. The guy that played the, um, the doctor, Stan, or whatever the hell his name was, from Cabot Cove. I don't know if... He, I, I don't know. He was pretty... He looked pretty old when he was... I, I'm not trying to make any bad comments. I'm just saying he looked pretty up there in age when he was in the, the actual show itself. Um, you know, it, it, it's over now, and I think this show had a lot of creativity in it. Um, but just, let's just say four... Four... Yeah, there, let me get it right. Four movies... For Murder, She Wrote, not one of them took place in Cabot Cove. That's, this is what doesn't make much sense to me. Like, you have a, the whole series in Cabot Cove, and then you don't finish it with at least at least one of the movies there. Wouldn't that make more sense? They were going in a completely dire different direction, and i got to say, this movie was probably the best one, which was the last one. You can watch this on DVD, and I don't see where else you can... You can maybe buy it from a service... Like, Amazon might allow you to buy it, but I don't think you can stream this anywhere. Uh, maybe you can. I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with streaming services. I don't use them. All right. That's it. Bye-bye.